Hello and welcome to Business Sedona TV. Right now you're watching the next segment for the Sedona International Film Festival. With me is the most talented young lady I have seen. She's both funny, she's talented, and she's got great taste in Red Sox, <laughs> Patriots, and Brittany Curran. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Alan? I'm doing great. Well, we just saw one of your movies. Mm -hmm. the, the Adventures of Food Boy. Little boy shoots food out of his hands and uh -huh. stuff like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was yeah, it was pretty crazy. He shoots everything from pastrami to bread to uh, jelly out of his hands. It was really fun filming, and I think the kids liked it. And it's based on a true story. No, that's not. Yeah, it's Mark. <laughs> it's yeah. Mark Van Gum. Yeah, he's his mind. He's the writer producer. And uh, yeah, it was fun. We had a screening. They shipped a bunch of kids in from schools. They they laughed a lot, so that's always a good sign. And uh, yeah, it was a really fun film. I played Lucas's best friend, and then love interest at the end. Yeah, I saw that little kiss at the end. It was nice. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you asked for it too. No, I. He's, no, no. he's a liar. I did not ask for it. I was just enthusiastic about the prospects of kissing Lucas. She kept saying, "Food me." <laughs> no. no, I'm friends with Lucas's girlfriend, Emily. She's oh, awesome. okay. Uh, I was just starting crap. I, that really wasn't happening. But <laughs> no. this isn't her first appearance in behind the scenes uh, with screening. Why don't you talk about your experience? Because mm -hmm. my boys know you for Drake and Josh, but yeah. you've done some several other things. Yeah, yeah, I played Drake's girlfriend on Drake and Josh, where I also um, kissed him too on the show. And, uh, Did you ask for that one? No, I would have. I mean, yeah. he's so cute. Very nice, very talented. And uh, yeah, I'm also a recurring on Sweet Life Zach and Cody, I'm the antagonist in the upcoming Legally Blonde's movie. Uh, I did Haunting Hour, Universal. I'm a uh, series regular on the new show called Men of a Certain Age. I play Ray Romano's daughter, but that airs next uh, January 2010. Uh, but and that's of 2010, just in case you're watching this months from now. Yeah. How do you like the show? Okay. Hopefully, we're in our fifth season if that's you're watching this saying. years from now. That would be very nice. And you will be any. What, what role do you play in that? I'm not a certain yeah, age. Yeah, you're not signed. You're not no, I'm, I'm nice pretty, I'm, I'm basically like myself, actually. Oh, it's, so you're uh, I'm, a wonderful I'm person? I'm this brilliant, fantastic person. No, I'm just kidding. But I am like myself on the show. So she's pretty, you know. Level-headed. Yeah, she's pretty level-headed. She has a sense of humor. Um, uh, Ray is my dad, and we, we get along pretty well. I'm on his side on the show. And it's cool. It's a one-hour dramedy, so it's a little bit different than... Ray's old show. Right. Um, it's cool. It's very. It's very. It's written very smart. But Legally Blonde is the one where I'm. I'm the evil antagonist. But I'm manipulative, so you think I'm nice, but I'm really not. Wow, manipulative people who appear to be nice and then don't. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Actually, you know, I went in the audition, and apparently, uh, with the producers, and apparently, a lot of the other girls did a really good job, but they all were just outwardly really mean. And I went in, and I was just really like. I basically manipulated them, but made it. I was saying these horrible things, but I was being nice about it. And then I went outside of the room, and later on, the producer said, "They said, yeah, you left the room, and we're like, did she just insult us? Like, it, 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 there's just an undercurrent, and it made it different. It was funner for me. You know what I mean? It makes it more levels to the character, and uh, it makes it, it made it, the character more fun. So you like play. acting? I love acting. Now, what do you like better? Um, I mean, I know you've been really doing comedy, mm -hmm. and now you're stepping into the drama yeah. and sort of comedy, mm -hmm. but what is your true passion? Because I don't I, want you to get typecast, because you know yeah. how that, that can happen very quickly. It quick. can, yeah. And the good thing is, I thought I was starting to be very antagonisty. Um, but I don't think so. Is that so. a Britneyism? That's another Britneyism, <laughs> antagonisty, yeah. But I don't think I am. I mean, I, now that you show that I'm a Serge Ragon, I'm nice, you know what I mean? And a lot of other a lot of other stuff I've done. I don't know. I've been very fortunate. I've done a range of stuff. Like I just guest starred on Ghost Whisperer, um, which was really cool. And I was an emo girl on it. And I mean, I guess I really I do like drama a lot. Um, I do like both, but drama I guess is my eventual goal. But I like funniness. No, no, no. You know. I just you know, being yeah. in the business, that people get typecast that it's certain easy. way, yeah. mm -hmm. and I just want to put it out here and mm -hmm. in the air yeah. for you not to get typecast. Yeah. You may play one role very well, but mm -hmm. you will experiment in other roles yeah. as well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I did a horror film too where I got to die. It's called The Uninvited, not the one you're thinking of. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Ooh. Not that one. Um, no, but I got to die. It was so cool. Like, they sliced my neck, oh. and the second I died, one tear trickled out of my right eye. It was perfect. I'm just thinking about it. I'm crying. <laughs> well, why don't you tell people about your website? Oh, my website, yeah, yeah my, I'm actually.
actually, I have a website that's all online right now, um, but I'm actually launching a new one within the next couple of months. My dad is actually uh, putting it together, and he has also a Boston fan. He is also a Boston fan, and uh, he actually has not shown me the website yet. He wants to surprise me uh, once it's done. But I know there's, I know it's co kind of colorful, um, kind of a purple scheme to it, and there's a lot of uh, pictures on it, a lot of behind the scenes, like exclusive pictures, videos. Um, comic strips. My dad put this cool comic strip thing in and um, we'll probably put videos of me and some of my other friends like Debbie Ryan and from Sweet Life and a lot of other, I don't know, there's just a, there's a lot of different sections. There's news, like when something new comes up I'll write like a little news item and I know there's kids posting things on it. Um, so I just finally noticed that and so I started responding to some of the kids. Like this one great fan in Vietnam named Gadai. He's really cool. So. Is he Gadai for? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> well, I want to thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you very much, and thanks for joining us on Visit Sedona TV. Bye. Bye.